Okay, in this video, I'm practicing my point of interest, um, which is really not anything to practice. The Phantom 4 does it by itself once you learn how to set it to. Originally, I was you know trying to fly sideways and kind of keep something in the center of the frame, and it was just really difficult. As you can see, um, it's like idiot proof when you use the point of interest feature. We're buzzing around my house. So um, you can see me down in the driveway. I locked the camera on the peak of my roof, I think the chimney. And as you can see, it's staying right on the chimney. Okay, now we're gonna pull back and I'm gonna start the uh, orbit again. What's really cool about this is it just kind of makes everything super simple to frame something and, and get it right um, and just circle. I'm lowering now, I'm getting the house about where I want it to be in the frame and I'm gonna hit orbit again. A super, super cool feature is that you can adjust the speed of the orbit. So you're panning at whatever speed you want to set it at, well, within the boundaries of what the Phantom 4 can fly. Um, just a really awesome way to, to, to really make something a focal point and just feature it. Um, you can see off to the left, you can see the carriage house, you can see the hangar. Um, that my, my boat and my truck go in, just, uh, just a, a really cool, cool cinematic feature is to, is to be able to orbit and pan around a point of interest. Okay, here I'm dropping down lower to get a, a, a different angle on things. I'm going to drop down as, as low as I think I can go that I won't catch the trees on the hillside swing and um, try to get a different perspective of the house. Now here you can see we're swinging along the back side, which is actually the mountain side. Um, the trees are getting closer. You can see the tips and the tops of the trees starting to reach up toward us. It's a cool perspective to look through the trees at the house and just, just a really neat effect to be able to you know, just skim over the top of these trees. Now I'm getting real close here and actually I'm into the tree right there the camera lost its focal point right there where you see it kick out and it had to get back on and start tracking again. But um, just you know, glad and crash into the top of the tree. But the point is, as it approached, the, it started to, you know, the warning sound started going off and it showed on the viewfinder that I was getting close to something. Um, just another really cool feature of the Phantom 4. So I, the more I play with this thing, the, the more I'm starting to, to get out of it. Um, I really, really just, uh, a piece of equipment like this opens up someone that's into doing video, such a, a, a different angle and a whole new world to make videos with. Just an awesome thing.
So um, appreciate you looking and can't wait to see what we can get this thing doing this summer. Thanks again.